Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is Mama Sila here, and if you are new to my channel, I'll get a little, I'll give a little introduction. But if you are not new and you've been following me for a while, welcome back. Wow, it's been I think about two weeks since I've been active here on YouTube and just basically my finance slash, slash budgeting life and honestly I I've been going through it and it's been a tough few weeks but we are getting through it I know that God is my source, my source of strength and that, like I said, he is helping me get through it and I hope the same for you guys, but also thank you to everyone who has been reaching out for me. You have been so amazing and yeah, so let's just get right into the video. You can see in the title, we're going to be talking about autism. So ever since my son was little, I've always noticed something different about him. And let me just tell you that the human brain is so amazing and it's just so crazy how your brain works and how you can overcome something and I am a firm believer that everything happens for a reason and yeah so let's just get right into it um, and we're gonna be talking about autism specifically um, autism spectrum spectrum disorder and I actually have my computer and I wrote about this topic just because I'm very passionate about it um, I've been having concerns about my son ever since he was little about his development, about his speech, and just other little things. And since we've been isolated, it has been more known to me that maybe he does have autism, um, a mild case. And I think too, it's mild because of my educational background and how I saw the signs as early as nine months and so I will be diving right into what autism spectrum disorder is and like um, any symptoms that you may see in your own child and just basically inform you guys about this I want to I'm not even sure if I want to start a series but for something about this but my next few videos are going to be on my personal YouTube, which is Mama Sila. And I'll go ahead and leave that link down below if you just don't want to search that up and just have a quick thing. And also, I'll just like tell you guys about my concerns and things later on in the video. I am not going to edit this. It's going to be raw just because I've been going through so much. Um... And it's not even like that it's bad things that I'm going through. It's just that I've been so busy and I've been trying to take care of things at home and my dad has Parkinson's. So I just have a lot on my plate, which I'm not complaining about. I love being in the position that I am in and I couldn't be any more grateful than I am already, but maybe as the days go on, I will even be more grateful because I know that gratitude leads to so many positive things and positive vibes. And yeah, I'm just so happy, you guys. Even though I go through things like on a daily basis that I don't talk about, I really try to take the positives out of any circumstances and yeah, sometimes I may go back to the person who I was and be petty or go off on someone and stuff like that. But that's just the human in me, the human nature in everybody. We get frustrated at times. 
um, we lose our balance at juggling all the things around us. Um, and yeah, just with that being said, let's just hop right into it because we are already five minutes in. So like I said, I'll be looking at my handy dandy MacBook. It's so dirty right now, but we're just going to ignore that. So, um, let me just, you just start off. All children have their own unique ways of communicating and expressing their needs, but there are also some common milestones that most children experience in their language and literacy development. At specific ages, children are expected to say certain amount of words or make certain sounds that show where the child's developed, where the child is, where the child is in their development. There, are, there is a critical period in children's development where they are able to learn and absorb as much as they can, but only if they are provided with the appropriate resources and experiences. So definitely, environment is super, super important and critical. And I say this because if I did not know anything about autism and, for instance, with my son, he lines up cars and things like that. If I didn't know that um, this is one sign of autism, then I would be okay with it. And yeah, you know, he he is super smart at like fixing a car and changing the cars other ways, which I will leave videos at the end so you can watch. But with that being said, like just because my son lines up cars and this and that, um, with all the other signs of autism, I find it so amazing and I want to enhance my son's learning abilities in the things that he loves and adores, even though it's on a smaller end. So for instance, he is in love with cars and when you have autism, you don't really find interest in so many things. So with my son, he has a ton of cars and what we do is we try to learn colors we try to just do different things with the cars and for me with our environment i talk to him about cars and um i know there's a huge thing about with tv but sometimes i need a break as a single mom if i need to shower or if i just want to lay down or even eat sometimes because my son is Right now, he's really needy, and so we are just really trying, and we are doing the best that we can, but as far as, like, if I give him a break to watch TV, he loves cars, so I'll put cars ABC, or I'll type in on YouTube cars 1, 2, 3, so there's, like, a huge variety of things that has to do with cars, and so I implement that because my son likes that. I don't consider it as a weakness, which I think a lot of parents do, like, um, they're worried that, or not even worried, they're super impressed about their kid when they line up their cars. They're super impressed that their kid likes things a specific way, but that is a huge factor of autism. And with me, I'm not too worried about, I guess, my son having autism. I was more, or I think I'm still worried about like his social skills because autism is mainly about like sort of their language development, but also social skills and just how they interact with others. And it's not even just with kids, but how kids interact with adults. For instance, when it comes to my son, when I talk to him, I can say, Ethan, look at this, Ethan, 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 call him. I don't know, like 15 times before he actually looks at me and like, oh, my mom's calling me. But the reason why he does that is because he hones in and he focuses on one thing, which may seem like a bad thing, but in reality, it's not because he wants whatever he's doing, he wants to finish and he wants to focus on. And so that is... Um, a huge factor is environment and if you might experience something like this I would say just keep on trying with your child try different things because the, the, the spectrum I guess 
there's a huge it's you know every kid is different and unique and s some cases are mild some cases are severe and it also depends on your environment and how you I guess implement all the resources that you can get and there are different phases that parents go through when finding out that their child has autism which is something else I want to talk about that's why I want to start making videos on my other YouTube just because this is a budgeting um, channel and whatnot I don't want to just like change it all up and whatever so if you are interested in that go ahead and follow that YouTube so let's continue um, while most children with ASD, that's what I'll call it ASD because it's a lot simpler, um, they can still communicate. It may be in different ways. So for me, for Ethan, he does know a little bit of Spanish, he knows a little bit of English, but also he knows a little bit of sign language. And the reason why I started um, teaching him sign language was not because um, I knew he had autism, but I wanted him to learn the basics if he didn't know how to say certain words on time, he would know how to express himself. So when it comes to if he wants more food, so I'll say more and he'll do that. Um, also milk if he wants milk because I still breastfeed. Um, I make sure that he says milk please. We have been, I guess, going through it just because he likes to pull my shirt down and not ask me which I told him and expressed to him that mommy doesn't like when you do that as well as it's not nice to do that to somebody's body. You hurt somebody else's body and that's being disrespectful. And so that is another thing. Um, they can communicate other ways and I'm so grateful that I started to teach Ethan some sign language because I see that he has some slurs even when it says his when even when it comes to saying his name Ethan he goes Ethan er he's he pronounces it differently with a slur um and then let's continue there are opportunities to intervene and help these children before their critical period ends and this is why I want to make videos and help parents or maybe I don't know if you're going through a situation like this with I guess your cousin or your friend's child or whatever if you see these signs um, this can lead to their development being even more delayed if we are not putting in that work and teaching them ways that work for them at a younger age because when you ignore the signs it can get worse so for instance when um oh let's say for ethan's language if i never te taught him or if i've never teach him new ways of learning language such as sign language he will miss a period of his language development and maybe maybe let's say he doesn't end up learning um certain words but he learns certain words in sign language that will be totally fine for me because he is able to express himself and I guess talk in another way. Again, my son is only 22 months old and and um, he still hasn't reached the 24 month threshold for his milestones. So I really can't compare exactly what his vocabulary is at. But as of today, he is about 20 to 30 words. And as each day goes by, we are really trying to implement other words into um, his, I guess, vocabulary. And it just amazes me about how every day Ethan is changing and growing. If I do say we, I mean we as in me because... Um, I am his facilitate um, caregiver, but also me as in like my family and stuff because I expressed this to them and I was never in the denial stage because I saw these signs early and I had the gut feeling. He is not diagnosed yet and so um, 
we are still working on bettering his language and his overall social development and language development as a person. So to further explain what ASD is and how it influences language development, we will talk about, or I will talk about the early intervention process, the intervention um, strategies, so ways to teach my child because all kids learn differently as well as environmental influences and what not. So I'm going to avoid some of these things, but I will talk about some of the symptoms and I would just go ahead and list them. So some of the symptoms include avoiding eye contact, having trouble expressing their needs, having trouble when a routine changes, having little interest in other children or caregivers, and limited display of languages. There are other symptoms, um, which I will get into when I talk about Ethan specifically, but these are some of the symptoms to watch out for. Some kids, you know, will catch on fast and some kids won't, and that's just my son. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about Ethan. So as I mentioned earlier, is that um, kids, some kids with autism avoid eye contact. And that is definitely Ethan, which I will insert a clip at the end where I'm calling him, where I am calling his name and he doesn't even look for any eye, co eye contact because he's so honed in on what he's doing. Um, another thing is when I am looking at him, I tell him, before I didn't tell him this, but I would tell him to look at me and he didn't look because obviously he didn't know what that meant at the time. Um, but I would, you know, mouth out words such as banana and he wouldn't even look at me. Sometimes he would look for a second and then his attention is gone. Another thing when it comes to eye contact is that he can lick me in the eyes and that is something that we are working on. Um, like I was saying earlier, I used to say, look at me. Now I say, look at mommy's eyes. And then I tell him like, what are you looking at? Are you looking at mommy's eyes? Are you looking at my nose or my mouth? And just really put in the effort to teach Ethan another way at that. Another thing I didn't mention but is a huge factor is empathy. So although Ethan knows how it feels to be hurt or he knows his feelings, whenever I get hurt or if ever he hits me or if he sees that I hit something from, I guess, tripping or I step on one of his toys, I'll say, ow! And before he didn't pay attention and I was so confused. And that's the one thing we've been I've been teaching him. Although he doesn't have the connection of empath empathy, I am teaching him the mental part. So when I say ow, that means that will click in his head as oh my mom is hurt or that person is hurt. And so what I've been doing now is if, you know, he like slaps me because he doesn't know how to express himself, I say, ow, mommy hurt herself, mommy needs ice. And so Ethan really loves to be helpful, which I love because not all kids like to help. We make, we make helping and cleaning up really fun. So that is what he loves to do. And I love to focus on his interests because it makes him happy and he is able to pick up his toys. But if I'm screaming at him, Ethan, pick up your toys now, um, he won't understand. He will probably get the impression of mommy's mad. She's screaming at me because her voice is this tone. You know what I mean? And yes, I do have to raise my voice certain times when he's acting up just so I can teach him that when I raise my voice, that means something is wrong. And the same thing as like, I know this is bad, but like a spoon. So 
he correlates like if he's doing something wrong if mommy says do you want the spoon that means that mommy can you know pet your butt a little bit and he does not like it like i literally top him one time and he's super sad and that again is another thing that um children go through when they have autism is that they don't know how to control their emotions and so with ethan we are working on it like again i say my son is a kid and all kids are learning differently but for ethan especially when someone hurts his feelings or if somebody says something that triggers him um my sisters do this for instance um they say my milk and ethan gets really sad because he knows that they're gonna like try to take it away because my sister has said my milk that's mom mommy's milk is my milk and so i've been teaching him that <sighs> i'm so sorry i'm a little tired it's like two in the morning um i've been teaching him like yeah auntie mimi says it's her milk but it's really not her milk it's okay to feel sad but what isn't okay is to hurt mommy because when he can't express himself, he turns to slapping me or hitting his, pulling his own hair um, and just hurting himself. And so we are talking through that process. And when you are consistent and your environment is consistent, your kid will see and learn differently. And I cannot express this enough that every child learns differently and with the steps that they need um you can literally change a kid who has autism to a kid who has autism and you can't even see it and so that is what my goal is i am not sad about even if he is diagnosed to be autistic i'm not sad about it i am not going to pity um, going through this because um, I wouldn't want that as a person and that's what I'm teaching Ethan is that he is his own being he's his own person and yes I baby him sometimes but I'm learning to not have not have him learn to depend on me fully because at the end of the day he is his own person and he will grow up to be independent and that's what I'm going to show him because, yes, these things are occurring where he is dependent on me. And partly that is my fault. The same thing with his expressions. That is my fault as a parent. And I, I see it because I, don't, I haven't been explaining to him fully about emotions. And so I've just been taking those necessary steps. And that's why I've been away from the camera and also of workload and so my next video for sure will be a budgeting video i i'm super sorry you guys i have been slacking on my budget and all of that but i promise i will update it all i don't want to just leave april behind without closing it and so we already in the middle of the month but we're gonna work on that and during this time too it was like these past two weeks i also had my birthday and then it was mother's day and so with that being said um it's just it's been a journey and i know that our journey continues me being a single mom um me being a full-time college student all of that and my main purpose for this is not to be sad about it but just to show you my journey and well our journey as a family and how we are overcoming it because i believe that everyone goes through certain situations and some people don't know where to look some people aren't giving the aren't given those resources and when they are given those resources just things become i guess 
you can say like the fear becomes more known. So for me, I'm a single mom and being a single mom, there comes a lot of strength, but there also comes a lot of fear. And so I think everything happens for a reason. And I've been searching on YouTube about kids with mild autism or just autism in general. And the book of it is black and white. Like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but basically there's these symptoms, but not a lot of people really post about their story. And I'm not sure if because they're afraid of it or whatever. But for me, I had to take some time away for my son. And then also, I had to realize that everything happens for a reason, like I was just saying. And I know that the human brain, especially at his age, is very powerful and it can be trained to the point where, gosh, I don't know how to explain it, but like I see my son as an engineer or a scientist or this doctor who saves lives. Yes, he might have autism. Yes, he might have a challenge with being social, but he is so smart intellectually when it comes to his cars when it comes to his fine motor skills when it comes to loving and just being happy and being active like my son is just so amazing and I want you guys to know that your kid is so amazing too whether they have this title of being autistic and you might have to put in more work because your child um, has these symptoms and they are probably diagnosed with autism. And there's just so much I have to say about this topic, but I'm going to end it here because I'm getting a little emotional. But this topic really interests me, not just because my son has it, but I've worked with kids before I even knew about Ethan and I saw how teachers would treat kids with disabilities and yeah the, those teachers may think that they are helping the child um, but sometimes I think that we get so caught up in our daily lives that sometimes we we as humans can get frustrated at things easily and that's why I had to take a step back because I was working so much and Ethan needed my attention I would be working and he would come in the room and I would kind of push him aside and that was kind of like a huge reality check for me too because Ethan although he is he is his own person I affect him a lot and that goes for any parents out there your your kids they they can feel your emotions they know when you're upset when you scream when you everything and they will learn and take what you teach them and how you portray yourself so i've been working on that i've been working on myself and i've seen a huge change just by me changing how I act and how I see things, how Ethan is changing. And yeah, I can blame myself, but also I can blame myself and change, but I can also blame myself and do nothing about it. So for me, he would come in my room and his dad would come bring him and I would be working and I would say, Ethan, mommy's working. Mommy has to work, your dad is here. He would yell and he wouldn't know how to show his emotion. When all he wanted was my attention, even if it was for two minutes. And I don't know, I was just so caught up with work for the past, I guess, three weeks. Or maybe a month, and I didn't realize what I was doing to him. Um, and it's just, for me... I've been 
I know I'm hard on myself right now, but I'm changing when it comes to keeping my house up with being cleaned. So I've been staying up. I don't know if you've been watching any of my social medias, but I've been staying up super late to get work done, to work on the things that are really important to me. Sometimes two to four hours of sleep is just enough for me. It's just what I need. And the reason why I know this is because I'm getting my strength from the Lord. I'm getting fed by the Lord. So whether I have the, this whole list to do, I know that God will give me that strength. I know I said I was going to end the video five minutes ago, but... I beat myself up about it for like two days. No, maybe like, yeah, maybe a day or so. But right after I beat myself up about it, I told myself, all right, Priscilla, you have these responsibilities. You have no choice. And yes, I have no choice. But also, I have what the choice I do have is how am I going to take this? What, what vibes am I going to put into this? Because obviously, if I tell Ethan and push him away, Ethan, mommy's working. And keep on doing that. If I kept on doing that, I couldn't imagine how he would be as a teenager. And me saying that being on my phone or just pushing him away, he would treat me the same way. He, he would talk to me that way. And then I would say, I don't understand why he's talking to me this way. When it's like, Priscilla, girl, you've been talking to him like this for years. What are you talking about you don't understand? That's the only way he knows. You know what I mean? I hope you want to know understand what I mean. Um, but the same thing with cleaning. The reason why Ethan really loves to clean is because he sees me cleaning. And he likes to help me. So we make it a game. And I say, Ethan, it's cleanup time. And we sing the song. You know, sometimes he doesn't like to help. That's okay. If it's one toy, he knows that I'm proud of him. Because the cleanup song means it's cleanup time and it's we're time for another transition. And I just love this little boy so much and I want the best for him. And I'm learning to teach him to be more independent. And I just love my son so much. And I hope you guys got a lot from this video when it comes to autism and when it comes to how you treat your children because your children right now honestly up to their 13 years old they are observing you they are seeing how you treat others they're seeing how you treat them they're seeing how you treat your work life they see how you treat your house life everything and when you don't prioritize things, you can't expect your child to prioritize those things either. And I'm human, you are human. Sometimes you'll have your days where you just can't take it and you're frustrated and that yelling comes back out. But I want to say that it's all okay. That is a human in us, but that's what keeps us connected. And when you realize that you messed up that day, you have to be an adult and tell your kids, hey, so earlier I yelled at you and I probably made you upset. But I want you to know that it wasn't my intention to yell at you like that. I was just a little frustrated. Um, I'm still working on my patience, but just know I love you and I'm working on it. I didn't mean to go off on you. I'm sorry. I love you. And yeah, 
Like, that's simple as that. People, kids will understand you because I've said that to Ethan. Sometimes I have to apologize to him because I don't realize that I'm going off at him. But, yes, I really hope you guys got some insight of what I'm going through. I may not be posting about it right now. And the reason why I was pushing aside my budgeting um, videos is because of the situation. I wasn't, I was never in denial of it because I saw it in the beginning. But I just needed time to prioritize what really means the most to me. Not that my budgeting channel means nothing to me. Um, but at the end of the day, for me, with my son, he has given me purpose to pursue everything that I want in life. And so if he isn't getting the attention and the love that I'm supposed to be giving him, then what makes it seem that he, oh, I don't even know. Oh, if I'm not giving him the attention and love that he needs, what? What's the point of life? Because Ethan is my number one and he always has been my number one. And he is the reason why I want to be successful. The reason why I'm consistent with my YouTube videos. So I just had to take a step back and I hope you guys can understand. A lot of you guys are very understanding and I'm super thankful for that. Um... But yeah, with that being said again, I love you guys. I'm here for you. I have been responding to all of my messages on Instagram, or at least trying to. Um, if I don't, it's probably because I've been getting so many messages and so many everything all of the above for my birthday, for um, Mother's Day, and all of that. But if you have any questions or you want to say something, I read all my comments, so go ahead and leave anything down below you guys can also message me on instagram i'll leave both my personal instagram as well as my budgeting instagram i'll also insert yes my business instagram my press press by sila and i'll give you guys my email because i am for helping you guys i am for being connected with you guys. I've always been like that. And I hope that you guys can see that I really care for you guys. And it's really hard because I don't have enough time in the day. Like it's three in the morning. I know it's almost three in the morning, I lied. It just turned to 36 in the morning. And I'm tired and I've been up all day. Ethan didn't leave me until three to be with his dad. So I got to finally go to the grocery store after a whole month. I can't believe it's been a whole month, you guys. And I've been able to really clean. Like, I got to clean the bathroom, fold clothes, wash clothes, and all of that. Clean my fridge and just pay attention to the things that I care about. Because during this time, it's been so crazy. And I don't know where my time is going to come. So you just want to lay down and just be on my phone. And I can't even take all of that time. But, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm pretty tired. I love you all as always. And, yeah. See you guys later. Bye. It doesn't matter. Go shower. She's fine.
Mommy sad because you don't want to give me a kiss. What? Mama. What is it? Mama. Oh. Tell him to give you a kiss. You better better. Better. No. Pretend you're sad. And tell him you're sad. Papa sad. Aww. That's the airplane. Avion. It flies in the air. You gonna put it in the air. Shh. Mm Are you lining up the cars? You're putting them together? Huh? Are they gonna go on a race? Are they gonna race each other? That's why you're putting, you're lining them up? Put the airplane at the end. The avion. Yeah, it's kind of cricket, huh? You don't like it like that? Does that bother you? You can put it like this then. Like this. Let me see. Let me see. Like this. And then put the car like that. See? But you don't like it like this, Ethan? Ethan. Look, look, you like it like this? Like that? Hold on, Dad. Is it, is it the mail you're trying to open? Yeah. Okay, hold on, give me a second. I'll give you some scissors. You're, you're fine with it going like that? Mm-hmm.